Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey everybody, I'm Dustin. I'm Keith. He's the sound engineer. <laughs> yeah, I actually have been playing sound engineer setting up the best one in this, this room. I'm 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 awesome. I'm yeah. sound engineer. Yeah. Yeah. He's also the music guy. I'm the bourbon guy. That's why I'm here. Speaking of another bourbon bribe. And this is kind of a weird one. I've had that. What? Really? Yes. I don't think I have. I'm the bourbon guy. How have you had this and I haven't? I got a bottle in my cabinet right now. Okay, then. Uh, let me check something. What? I has a suspicion. Let me, let me, let me look at something. Here. All right, he's going to look at something. I'm going to tell you what's weird about this. It's not the bottle itself. It's the fact that this was sent to us in July. Yeah, it was July. And unfortunately, the way that the bag was tagged at the place where it was sent, it was not really uh, noticeable that it was for BCR. Will, we're sorry, but uh, thank you. And uh, we hope we get this song out for you pretty quick. So uh, that's Douglas and Todd, right? Yeah. So you remember the Crow video? Was it the same? We had Douglas and Todd for that. I don't remember this bottle. You do, though? Yeah, you want to go get it? No. Okay. I guess we've had it. We we have. Um, so I, I actually remember the bottle. Um, it's been sitting on a shelf at my house ever since. That's weird. Um, you can get a compass yeah. cap. Uh, it's it's been sitting it's been sitting on the shelf. Uh, but I remember we both liked it. Okay. So since this is pretty recent. It might be fun to go back and compare our tasting notes. Yeah. To, to see how consistent we are. If we liked it or... Well, I know we liked it. I remember we liked it. It's a small batch, so it should be pretty... I can smell it from here, man. It's, it's got a, it's it's got got a got pretty good, good nose. It's got a really good nose. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the song that goes with this one is um, Montgomery Gentry, Lucky Man. Now, yes, you are. We've been over that. Oh yeah. <laughs> there, there, there has been some drama in the Keith house. <laughs> drama. Ish. Drama. So why has there been drama, Keith? Listen, if you're cold, they're cold. <laughs> Bring them well, inside. We should go get it. No, I'm not pushing that thing in here. You can start it up. That'd be a bad plan. Oh, God, that's tempting. Don't do it. She'd lose her mind. She would kill you. Actually, this could be fun to watch. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. I do want to make it till morning. Um, <laughs> till morning. So, as we are recording this, the temperatures are taking a nosedive here in Indiana. It's cold. It's it's cold. It's right? cold. I mean, I got my Under Armour on, yeah. Yeah. And... and uh, so the temperatures are diving down towards zero, and my Rapidly. race bike has coolant in it that will freeze at that temperature. Negative two, and you're done. If coolant freezes in a motorcycle engine, it cracks the block, it destroys the engine, it's a really bad scene. So... There's a CBR 600RR in my kitchen. Right where he didn't that, close the door. Where I didn't close the door. Right. It's right over there. It, there's, but if, but if you're cold, they're cold. Um, and so, your your wife's response was well, it's actually epic. So she said that having a motorcycle in her kitchen for a week is better than me pouting all season that I can't race. Because I'd be sending his ass pictures. <laughs> he, w he would do that. And He's he, that guy. He would be like, <laughs> kick me. Yeah. No, Man I would cry. reply with he, a string of profanities. but And block my ass. <laughs> yeah. So, he, all right. He, so, are we going to get to the song? Yeah, we need. Let's we should. So, Montgomery Gentry. I remember um, we did that song with them. Where there was the exaggeration about flying an F-15 and all that stuff. So, yep. uh, let's see what this one's all about. I have days where I hate my 
job This little town in the whole world too And last Sunday when my Bengals lost <laughs> Lord, it put me in a bad mood Wow I have moments when I curse and rave And then complain when the sun's too hot I look around at what everyone has And I forget about all I've got But I know I think I'm going to really like this song. Cause I, well, I really like that last line. What was it? That I look around at what everyone's, everyone else's shit, and I forget what I've got. My hope and my guess is it's going to flip that whole first verse for the rest of the song. It might. That's my hope. And I forget about all I've got. But I know I'm a lucky man. God's given me a pretty fair head. Got a house and a piece of land. A few dollars and a coffee can. My old truck's still running good. My ticker's ticking like they say it should. I got supper in the oven. A good woman's loving. One more day to be my little kid's dad. observations on that song all right lay it out first off i feel like from what we've been listening to with country it kind of mirrored rock in that about the 80s during my shoes into the 80s everything became negative Mm -hmm. so it's really cool to hear a, po- a positive song. Well, and, and if you, like, before we knew anything about country music, there was an old adage that I lost my dog, I lost my truck, I lost my wife. Well, this is bullshit, because that, that's an older song. Right. Well, yeah, it's, well, I don't know how old Yeah, it is. I, I think it's 80s, 90s. I bet it's not. They'll tell us. They'll tell us. I bet it's, my guess would be that's like a 2003. That's, that could be. That's could my be. guess. Just based on the engineering, and these guys... I don't think they've been around all that long, but here's something I just thought about. Well, I think one of them passed away. Right. So think about how emotional this song could be for some people. Yeah. Because holy sh- he doesn't have another day. Yeah. Damn. So love the message. Love the lyrics. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy that I, that I heard just that. Yeah. Second observation in the engineering and the songwriting 
the pedal steel guitar was just the perfect amount of spice just back there sprinkled over the song yep. all the way through it to give you that great country music vibe yep without being overpowering uh or hokey or you're right or hokey or cheesy whatever yeah. adjective you want to apply yeah. but so it was just perfectly sprinkled into that there song. was a violin too wasn't there uh, I'm not even sure if I heard a violin. There probably was, but it, the mix was was low on it because it didn't jump out at me. And I actually had to kind of listen into the song to even realize, though the pedal steel is still pretty far in the forefront, I kind of had to really tune in because... Uh-huh. The, the lyrics were mixed real high. The third part, their harmonies were so freaking awesome. They were really good. They right? were really, really good. From a like a vocal skills demonstration, mm-mm. right? This but is not belting and you, range. They didn't and knock you off the stage. What? But it wasn't supposed to. Right. It wasn't designed to do that. It's a humble message. And yes, humble man. That's perfect. Um, so you had that humble message message delivered with those just stellar harmonies. Yep. And that spice of that guitar in the background just, I mean, that was a damn good song. This it is was, a mood tune. It was well written. Mm-hmm. It was well engineered, well played, and well performed. Yeah. Will, good choice. Good choice. Yeah. Did you say this one was from July? Will, good choice. <laughs> was it July? Yeah. Yeah. So what had happened was. I told him, but you can tell him again. Well, the label uh-huh. at the store was folded in such a way that nobody, not us, not even the store employees, realized it, it was, was a bribe us. for us. Right. Actually, the only thing that was even uh, showing on the other side was the gentleman who sent it to us his last name. Yeah. That's it. And so we didn't, nobody realized, it, and it sat there all that time. Apologies. I didn't mean to call you a gentleman. You might not be. What? I don't want to assume. <laughs> he was nice enough to send us a bribe, though. And here you are. <laughs> what? He might... Assuming his gender? I did not say that. Wow. Wow. I did not take it there. You took it there. I did not take it there. I'm not sure about that. I said gentleman. <laughs> I did not. He could be a hooligan, for all we know. That's what I was saying. Well, now you first you assume his gender. Now you're calling him a, a hooligan, man. He's, you send us a bottle. We check out your song. And Dustin's really mean to you. That's false. That's not cool, false. man. That's just not cool. I apologize on his behalf. You, you would never do that. <laughs> All right. So what do you think of this stuff? I remember it. As soon as I drank it, I remember it. It's good. It, it's very good. Mm-hmm. And it has those tobacco notes. And I remember, I'm almost, all right, you guys will call me out on it. But I'm almost 100% sure that I called out last time that it had light tobacco notes. And it still does. And not enough to turn me off. Right. You you did. I remember you saying that. Like, as soon as I tasted it, all the memory came back. Yeah. And I don't think my opinion has changed. It's, it's, this is a good bourbon. And look at those legs, dude. Well, I also remember, I think I remember last time, it might not have been this bottle, but you talking about how good the nose was on it. It's and glorious. It's, oh, it's and for all those of you who don't know what legs are, when a, when a, when a uh, liquid leaves like a trail on the glass, it's true for wines too, those are called legs. Cinnamon, tobacco. Yep. Tobacco hits up front pretty quick. Vanilla in the mid. Yep. Some light florals and oak in the finish. You know, I was with the peeps from the car wash last night. Yeah. And one of the one of the great observations uh, came from, from one of the guys at the car wash about how Woodford has a bunch of vanilla in it. It does. It does. And then he's like, I, so I poured some Double Double Oak. Mm-hmm. That's the bottle I took over. Yeah. It was the 2018 bottle, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm, that was a good one. <laughs> and he's like, this has even more vanilla. I was like, uh-huh. 
Yeah, best of luck getting the bottom. Mm-hmm. Never. Yeah, it's he won't. not going to won't. <laughs> so this was pretty good stuff. I really like this. What proof you, do you remember? What proof it was at? Taste about 100, I don't know. Same as Blanton's. So, so 92, or 94, sorry. 93. Well, I bracketed it. You got real close, yeah. No, I didn't. My first guess was I'm bad. At, with Blanton's. Yeah. You totally were. <laughs> I Dude, that call kills you out. that kills my human perfer streak. Yep, it's a sad day. It's You're still a lucky day. man. Oh yeah, but because you got a seat. motorcycle in the kitchen and you're not dead. There's a race yeah. bike in there, and I'm still alive. It's only a matter of time. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. A flesh wound. <laughs> it's a mere flesh wound. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh-huh. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what country music we need to try and what North American whiskey we need to check out. And we'll see you next time. See you.